Okay, so it's nesting season here in Nova Scotia, and uh, I was just downstairs doing some work when I started hearing robins in the front yard making a whole bunch of noise. And uh, so I headed outside to see what they were they were doing, and it sounded like an alarm. So I walked over there, and uh, turns out there were there were some crows kind of down in the bushes in that area. And I've been seeing the robins around there for about a week now. I think they've been building a nest, kind of carrying nest materials and stuff in there. And uh, so the crows kind of cleared out of there and I went and sat down. And then I noticed that uh, the robins kind of went back to their feeding in a different area. And a few minutes later, they, they started getting agitated again. They, they flew in to a set of trees close to where the initial alarm had been and then they uh, one of them it, it just kind of lasted like maybe a five seconds of alertness there and then one of them went went down to the ground and it had something in its beak and uh, I was trying to figure out what it was and it was actually this egg and uh, I thought that was really bizarre and I was trying to figure out why the robin would have this egg in its beak. And, you know, did the, did the crows get their egg? Or did the robin actually eat the egg? Did the robin eat its own egg? And I was trying to figure out why it, why it might do that. Um, one theory that I had is, you know, if it, if it... I mean, if it is the crows that got the egg, then why did the robin pick it up? And, uh, you know, if it wasn't the crows, and it was in fact the robin, you know, maybe, maybe the robin knew that the crows had found its nest, and really the, the most energy efficient thing to do at that point is just to eat the egg. Uh, I really have no idea, but if you have any theories, let me know. That's kind of just a cool little bird language story from uh, my day that I wanted to share with you.